Kia ora, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, the bond market is no longer sending recovery signals, and that is despite the growing inflation rates. But first, the US mortgage applications fell again last week, embedding a trend. Higher house prices are said to be excluding more borrowers there. And the US Treasury had another bond auction overnight, this time a smallish one for their 10-year note. They offered $41 billion and the Fed took $3 billion of it. For the remaining $38 billion, they got offers of $98 billion, so it was very well supported. The median yield was only 1.44%, however, reflecting that heavy demand. The previous equivalent auction a month ago resulted in a median yield of 1.62%. So this matches the market retreats in bond yields recently, probably as a reaction to the underwhelming non-farm payrolls report. China's producer prices grew 9% in May from a year ago, the fastest rate of increase in 13 years, and higher than the 8.5% expected. In April, they rose 6.8% so on the same basis, so that means the pace is quickening. Their consumer prices rose just 1.3% year on year, and while that was faster than the prior month, it was less than the 1.6% expected. And Japanese machine tool order levels came in very strong in May, ignoring the year-ago change. The change from 2019, which was the last normalised May month, this 2021 data is almost 14% higher. So that's a healthy rebound. Yesterday we reported a strong recovery in air cargo volumes, but the same isn't true of international passenger travel. This is still moribund. However, there is a strong recovery in domestic air travel around the globe, with the May 2022 volumes now only a quarter lower than the May 2019 when they were normal. International travel, however, is almost 90% lower. US Treasury 10-year yield starts today down four basis points at 1.49%, which makes the decline in the past week 13 basis points. And the price of gold starts today at $1,891 an ounce, and that's down $2 overnight. Oil prices start today marginally firmer at just on $69.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just under $72 a barrel now. And the Kiwi dollar opens today slightly softer at just on 71.8 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we've fallen to just on 92.8 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're down to 55.8 euro cents. That means our trade weight index starts today at 73.4 and a small dip from this time yesterday. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.